No, okay, so the left-hand one was your first one. As you said, you were good with the 30-yard bump and run, like 9-9, 20, 30-yard shot, mm -hmm. because you'd set up narrow, the ball would be probably further back a little bit, I'd imagine, mm -hmm. and you weren't needing to move to the left because you probably started a bit more left anyway. Mm -hmm. This one here now required a longer shot. You felt you are on the red line, mm -hmm. and you actually went towards the fourth yellow line, okay? Mm -hmm. But from here, now, there's not much movement to the left, so the club now, when it comes back to the golf ball, bottoming it a little bit behind the golf ball, catching it a little bit thin, and hanging back, so kind of just before impact here, you're kind of in that area, hands back a little bit, and just sort of this way. This one here now, we go to the next frame, we get impact there. Okay, that's just, oh, can't do that. that's impact there. Okay, this one here now, same length of swing, maybe a little bit longer, but you're sort of smoother. Now, as you come back, there's that pressure into that left foot. If we look at your lower half there now, that is now moving a little bit yeah. more that way. Yeah. You're getting on top of the golf ball, yeah? So the ball now is coming off a little bit that way as opposed to a little bit thin yeah. and a bit low as it was before. Then you're just pivoting around that left foot. You can see now you're more on your left foot there, okay? Mm -hmm. Club face, when it finishes, is more back. You don't see the club as unfortunately, I don't think. Uh, you probably do, to be fair. Club face is back towards your head if you yeah. want to get that kind of high floaty shot. Yeah. And it's worth playing about with different shots. Play yeah. far... Play long and slow, play short and quick, yeah. play short and slow, play Same fast and quick. So changing up and learn different clubs, it's you get a full feel. feel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's it. As long as I understand the different shots I can play, I think it's the feel of, I need to go out there and figure The out best thing for you to do, and again, I didn't say this, okay, but is to get on the golf course and just try, just chuck a few balls down different greens and just try different shots, yeah? yeah. Just throw a ball in the tray and just try that. Or yeah. go on the chipping green by the first on the Mac and just play some shot down the bottom, up on the, over the bunker, up on the bit over the road, or just chipping back over the bunkers that way. By the tee shot, they're just chipping here, just yeah. try a variety of shots. And when you practice, chuck a ball from me to you away, play it from that line. Yeah. Don't always keep teeing keep the ball it, up because yeah, otherwise yeah. you just get really good at teeing the ball up and playing from a perfect line. Yeah. And then when you're on the golf course, you haven't got a perfect line, yeah. you're going to struggle, okay? Yeah. But it's having that confidence to know that if you're playing a full shot or a short shot, your torso is still going to turn through. If you're playing a short shot, your arms will be down here, this sort of position, but you're still going to move your torso yeah. to move the arms around that arc. What we yeah. saw when you went shorter and quicker, you went shruggier and quicker, and you shrugged and threw the club out, and then you janked it, yeah? yeah? So that's probably not one at the moment that you're probably best suited to. I think more the rhythm and the sort of swing being a bit longer and yeah. using the ground and the length of swing to go through the shot. Yeah, and that It goes nice and high, and you can use a different variety of clubs in the shots in the bag, yeah? So you're not just sticking to one and just battering a lob wedge fully and then you've got nothing in between, yeah? But then is that still, so is that still the right shot when I've got, so I've always, I try not to use it and just bump it up high because obviously the room... The lob wedge, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. From bump and run I do, but I find the last two months bump and run just doesn't work because of how firm it is, so... Well the thing is you basically play a bump and run wedge before the 9-9 nine -nine, and I play the wedge. Yeah. Same shot. So you're landing it a bit shorter and a bit higher. Would that do that with about 60 or I could do it with You could do, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, you could do, yeah, yeah. The thing is, I mean, if you think, if, you, if I sort of draw some lines on here, if you make this make sense, yeah. if your golf ball is there yeah. and the flag is there, mm -hmm. all right, in the, in the winter, spring time where it's a bit softer, okay, you hit a nine, I said 50 50, yeah? So you hit a nine and it lands there and then rolls out towards the flag. That's your nine nine bump and run, yeah? Yeah. You hit a 9-9 there now, it's off yeah. the screen over here somewhere, okay? So if you took a sand dine or a pitching wedge, it would land there, more loft, less distance, okay? Mm -hmm. And then roll towards the flag. Yeah. If it's a bit downhill, maybe going down a slope that's quite severe, you think, okay, I'll take my lob wedge, it lands here, yeah. and then rolls to the flag. Yeah. So you could still get the same, same result, just... but you're just doing exactly the same swing, we are just changing the club for the conditions, yeah? So it's like if you're driving... At 70 mile an hour and the grass is dry, the ground is dry, you're comfortable, gets a bit icy, I'll go a bit slower. You're not going to go, yeah. I'm going to go at 70 and just break harder and yeah. try. You change, you adjust yeah, to the yeah. conditions, yeah? So the ground is rock hard, same kind of swing, you just dial in the shot a bit closer to you rather than trying to be sort of softer with a 9-9, just go, yeah. okay, I'll hit more loft and land it short. Think of it in terms of a long shot. When you've got 150 yards to go in the winter, you're knocking a 9 on the green. You're in a 9 9 9 for 150? No, you're in a wedge, probably, aren't you? Yeah. Landing a 10 yard shot and bounces on the green. Yeah. So, same with the chip shot. You just take less club, yeah. or more club, shall I say. Same swing, goes up higher, rolls the same, or rolls further in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Cool.